Chances are, if you're watching this, you've heard of the internet. And you've heard of the internet because of November 12, 1990, when Timothy Berners-Lee proposed his idea for the World Wide Web. Let's take a look. Gentlemen, I brought you here today to propose an investment opportunity that is perhaps the greatest in the history of the 20th century. Please tell me it's smaller cellular phones. <laughs> <laughs> Actually has to do with communication. Look over my left shoulder. What do you see? That's called the World Wide Web. Looks more like a net. You should call it a net. It, it is net-like, yes. It's a net. Well, you can call it a net, you can call it a web, but I'll tell you what it actually is. It's a revolution. It's a revolution in communications, because now, for the first time in the history of humanity, you can have a user in India communicate with a user in San Francisco, and they can share data, and that data could be anything. That could be a photo or a text or a video, all instantly accessible on their computers. So you're saying if I had a video of a cat throwing up into a shoe, I could share it with the world? Well, yeah, technically you could, but I need you to think maybe a little bigger because this could revolutionize commerce or an industry with just the click of a button. Okay, so you're saying it's a way to streamline financial transactions? Yes, that's, that's part of it. That's part the of only it. reason I'm asking, I have a couch in my attic. My mom died on it. So I don't want to ever use it again, but maybe somebody in my neighborhood could take it off my hands for me for $50 or best offer. Well, yes, that is a possibility, but I need you to think a little bigger. This could revolutionize humanity. We're limited here only by the boundaries of human imagination. I've never seen a woman make love to a horse. I've always wanted to see German runaways defecate on each other. Okay, gentlemen, let's say we have a doctor. He's in Africa. What is he doing? He's operating on a small boy. A boy who might die, who probably will die. But thanks to this, web, we can get information from the Mayo Clinic directly to that surgery room and that boy's life can be saved. I've always wanted to anonymously meet and murder prostitutes. Would I be able to do that with this World Webby device? I'll take this. Maybe we could combine our list. We could have a subsection for people who want to buy and sell used furniture and a subsection for people who want to commit homicides against hookers. There you go. This technology is it expensive? Well, the only cost involved would be access. But the net and the web, virtually free. So the transvestite strangulation porn would be billed separately then? No. Yes. Technically, you're right. All right, gentlemen, I don't think you understand the enormity of this proposal, and I'm sorry I've wasted your time. No, 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 no. Would, would $50 million be enough to get you off the ground? I'm in for $35 million. I'll cut you a blank check right now. And I'll put in an additional $50 million. Gentlemen, let's talk about that strangle porn. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, follow me on Twitter, and uh, make sure to tune in every Friday. There will be a new Next Week in History. So make sure you tune in next week for history. So make sure you tune in next week because there's going to be more history every Friday on next week in history. We'll do it again next week and we'll uh, have more history for you. It's, it's the thing we do every week. It's the thing we're next week.